Hi, nice to meet you all. My name is Nadine Bernard. I am the junior content manager at GetNet, which means that I do the follow-up and the quality control of all uh, content that's being produced and co-produced for GetNet outside of VRT, the public service uh, broadcaster in the Flemish part of Belgium. No, I have to... Huge. Forget. It's huge. Here I go. I will give you an idea of our numbers, how we are doing at the moment in the market. Uh, our target audience, uh, I will tell you a little bit more about our values and goals. And of course, explain uh, the criteria we have to uh, co-produce in animation. So first, some numbers. At the moment, we have a market share of 21% in the age group of uh, 4 to 12 year olds, which means that uh, we are the biggest dedicated uh, television channel in the Flemish speaking part of Belgium, even though at the moment there are about 12 channels uh, targeting at children in the Flemish speaking part of Belgium. So that's quite a lot. So we are very happy that we are still doing very well. Uh, we air from 6 in the morning until 8 in the evening. And of course, besides our lineal channel, we are also always available online and in apps. Uh, on a weekly basis, we reach one on two children, so we reach 50% of all children in the Flemish-speaking part of Belgium. We also have a website, of course, getnet.be, uh, which has about 66,000 66, unique visitors a day. And just to give you an idea, there are about 650,000 uh, children between the age of 0 and 12 in Flanders. So uh, our website is also very popular. Now, the favorite uh, thing for kids to do online is to watch our video content. And so we try to have as many pro programs as possible available online for them on the basis of a seven day catch up. And on a monthly basis, uh, there are about five million clips started online. Now, of course, besides a television channel and a website, we have our own apps, so we are a complete 360 brand. And in summer, we also have live events where we go out and we meet uh, the kids watching CatNet. Now a little bit more on our target audience. Um, so we target at kids from zero until the age of 12. And uh, we've created two brands uh, to target them more specifically. So we have the Ketna Junior brand, which is our brand for uh, the preschoolers, the zero to six year olds. And um, we have two blocks during the day on which we try to target them. And in these blocks, about 80% of all the content is animation. And then second of all, we have the CatNet brand, uh, which we target at kids from six until 12. And there, uh, the balance is about 40% animation and 60% live action. And on CatNet, we have um, a cartoon block, which is about one hour and a half. Um, and of course, in weekends, we have even a higher percentage of animation uh, on TV. Now, at CatNet, we strive and we... Um, we strive to uh, integrate five values into everything we do, and also in our content. Our first value is that we want to be connecting. We want to stimulate children to communicate with one another, but also with friends, parents, teachers, and other caretakers in their world. And of course, we also want them to connect with um, everyone around them and the world, and we want to stimulate dialogue. Our second value is that we want to be stimulating. So we want to inform, inspire, and stimulate kids. We want to help them to stand their own ground and grow mentally and emotionally. Our third value is uh, that we want to be fascinating. So besides helping them learn and grow, we want children to keep dreaming and imagining. And so therefore, in CatNet, everything is possible. We want to be magical, funny, romantic, and full of fantasy. And we want to keep kids' dreams alive. Our fourth value is that we are always positive. We always get off on the right foot. And we want to show kids the world as it is, so we show it with its good and bad sides, but we always leave them with a positive and hopeful message. And our fifth value, last but not least, is of course that we want to be entertaining. Sometimes we just want kids to escape from their everyday busy lives, and we want to spoil them and give them a moment just to sit back and relax. 
And besides these five values, we also have two goals that we strive for, that we want to integrate into our content, into our brand in the future. And our first goal is to be daring, which means for us that we would like to experiment, be controversial, show some guts and be trendsetters. And the second goal is to be engaging. At CatNet, we want to be relevant and have an impact on the world of children. We want to help them to find their way in the big world, but we also want to address certain issues to them. Then, um, why do we invest in uh, co-productions animation? First of all, because we want to um, keep all of our content local. And also, in animation, we want uh, content that is being produced by Flemish companies, because there are a lot of very, very good studios in Flanders, and we want to offer them a platform to grow uh, on our channel. Uh, some of them are here, so um, I would suggest that you would go over and talk to them and maybe work together with them, and then there is an opportunity hello for the us Flanders. to talk. Hello, the Flanders. Hello. Hello, yeah, here Where is one. They? <laughs> they already has a co-production with Germany, yeah. so that is sa settled. This one, yes. Yeah. Uh, and of course, as I already told you, animation is a very important part of our schedule. As I said, 80% of our uh, preschool content is animation. And uh, for older, ki older kids, it's about 40%. Um, and mostly we are looking for series. Now, our criteria for uh, co-productions, as mentioned before, it has to fulfill one or more of our values or goals, and it has to be a project with 360 degree possibilities, which does not mean that every uh, program or every animation series has to be interactive, but it's always nice if we know that there are opportunities to do, go further and to do something with it on an online platform or develop a game or do something interactive with the viewer. Um, it also has to have a clear developmental subjective for a child. So this goal or this aim does not always have to be educational. It can also be pure entertaining. And for CatNet to co-produce, it is also crucial that there is a Flemish uh, animation studio or producer on board. And of course, it has to fulfill the needs that we have in our programming schedule. And each year, we determine uh, certain topics that we want to pay extra attention to. So if the content matches these themes, of course, our interest is raised. Now, for the categories, we have uh, three categories uh, for... Uh, do I always have, oh, already no, just because you're one slide late, darling. Really? Oh, yes. sorry. Oh. <laughs> I no, didn't even yet. notice. <laughs> so we have three categories uh, for our co-productions. Category A consists of innovative, very original content, which reinforces our brand. Then we have a category B, and these are the diamonds that we would pre-sale on the international market. And then we have a category C, which is well-made content, which has no uh, particular priority for us at the moment, but we invest in it just to support the Flemish animation industry. And together with these categories go budgets. Uh, for a category A project, we pay about 500 euros a minute. Category B is around 400 euros a minute. And category C, 300 euros a minute. With a maximum of 100,000 uh, per project. And um, once you have our support, it is also possible in Belgium to, get, to apply for extra funding at the media funds and uh, they can help and max the budget, and this goes up until 500,000 euros. And besides that, we have in Belgium also a tax shelter, shelter system to top this off. Now, regarding rights, um, of course, we request all audio audiovisual rights for the Flemish territory. This includes the linear rights, uh, a seven-day catch-up, the VOD rights, and the SVOD rights. Uh, we will never share linear rights with other channels who are also available in Flanders, but if there are other big channels on board, we can make an exception for the SVOD rights. And then regarding follow-up, so uh, once you've been to us and you've pitched a project, project and we've decided to co-produce, um, 
we um, demand uh, to have several meetings in which we are informed on the progress of the project at key moments so we have an idea what it is uh, in what way it is taking shape we will also read a couple of uh, scenarios and we will give feedback and our expertise as being um, a channel and uh, we also want to approve on the voice castings so that's about it. I hope you have a better idea of what CatNet is all about and that you also have an idea of what kind of project you can pitch us.